special moments with my children was building the coop and watching them take care of these birds. I received a fine a couple weeks ago for the birds, and I understand I should pay the fine, and I will, but I would like to make a plea to the town council to allow permanent Argus residents to have a small regulated flock of birds. Annapolis allows 12 birds per household within city limits, <clears throat> and South Bend allows six. Argus is a small farming community, and I can't think of anything more that represents the independent lifestyle <clears throat> than eating from your own garden and getting eggs, eggs from your own chicks. I was told that it was a noise violation issue, and I get that, but we already have laws on the books to regulate dogs and other types of pets. As far as the noise and being off of the leash or trash and junk in people's yards, if there is a dog barking all night, which there are a lot of in Argus, I would expect the town to talk to the owner about it, and if it gets out of hand, the police should take appropriate measures. The same is true if the birds are wandering around on their pen, or if the pen <clears throat> or coop is starting to sink and offend neighbors. All these issues could be addressed just like any other animal. Chickens should be considered pets and not just livestock. Having a small backyard flock should be regulated just like any other pet. It will encourage more participation 4-H and FFA and teach children to respect and learn where their food comes from. I would like the council, council to consider either making a new ordinance or make changes to existing laws to allow more Argus residents to share the joy of raising chicks with their children and grandchildren. Thank you for your time and your consideration. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure exactly without any looking where this runs afoul of any current ordinances or zoning. That was kind of funny. But I believe that's in the land use book, isn't it? <laughs> it's in the town code. That I got no idea. Chickens. I don't remember it being in the nuisance ordinance. What, what code is it not in? Not in the nuisance ordinance. It's in the town code under pets or like animals. It's in the chapter 92 under animals or something like that. I, I don't remember okay. the exact chapter, but I think it's like 92 that covers pets. Because we just rewrote, what was it, 91? Chapter 91 is the nuisance, right? Which is the fines and fees, well, yeah. Keep in mind, anything can be a nuisance. Okay. Right. The guy sitting there revving his Harley can be a nuisance. Yeah, the, the chickens, the dogs, mm -hmm. any and all of that can be a nuisance. Um, but. My guess is there may be some specific ordinance that does deal with chickens, poultry, I'm not sure. And so I'm going to have to look at that to see exactly what kind of ticket did get written. I think, I can't remember what the ticket exactly said, but I, I think it was uh, not enough acreage or something like that it said on the bottom of the ticket or something, which, you know, we live in town, so there are no acreage, but, you know. That's taken me to the land use book then. It's in both, okay. but there is a town ordinance that says no chickens, no, I don't I forget. So we really there's, need to look at two places? Point. Yeah. Well, right. we need to look at any and every place that there may be some kind of prohibition and see what it says first. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and then also, I, my wife that. came in to talk to, uh, talk to the town here about, about the ticket or whatever, and uh, we were also told that if we wanted a pot belly pig, we could have one outside. I'm, I'm sure. And it's like... A potbelly pig, I would assume, would be a lot more offensive to neighbors and other people than a couple of chicks. And I would, I would tend to agree with you yes. on that. <laughs> that's <laughs> a, that's the that's same, okay. we kind that of went through the same thing. Yeah. In the '90s, those were really those yeah. came on strong. Yeah. And I remember they changed that. And In there, yeah. <laughs> well, sir, we're not going to ignore this. Okay. I guarantee you that. Mm -hmm. Our next meeting's on the 20th. Okay. So we're going to table this. We okay. all have a chance. I no use trying to pretend that we know these books. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. No, I, yeah. I have no clue what's in there. Okay. Uh, Pam, go ahead. We had chickens that came in on a on the grain truck. Mm -hmm. You know, when they were, you know, they would pull in there. Oh, and yeah. And then it would sit there. And, and it, it was a rooster and a hen. And they lived in our backyard for about <laughs> not how long. Yeah. And there was a tree back there, and they'd roost in the tree, you know, and they, they just wandered around. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. actually had baby chicks and all kinds of stuff. And the rooster would crow every morning. Yeah. Yeah. And that, I can see, could be a yeah. problem with yeah. the rooster. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, I will tell you yeah. that. That oh, could be a... I'll send you. Uh, we had talked. Some lady complained it was waking her children up at nap time. So if you I remember we talked while we were, were working on another days. issue, and I didn't bring it up then. Thank you. I'll resend all of that information I'm not just so you can look at it. And what he's talking about, your larger city, and not just larger cities, some of these towns, they've gone to where they've started to add two, four, six. Yeah. You can't have a rooster. You can't have, because there are so many people that are yeah. into yeah. that. And I'm not saying it's right, wrong, but at least it's information to look at it, something different. So. And it would be better for the town in general to have a regulated, you know, mm -hmm. if, if we would actually set laws so that way we have a basis of what, you know, is allowed and what is not allowed, rather than just people getting them and just let them run around town or, you know, right. whatever. Right. At least this way, it's done, we have the laws in the books, and they, they, we all know that guy out Do you have a rooster? No. Oh, no. 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 It's just just there. <laughs> well, obviously, it might be okay to ask the rooster. I remember oh, yeah. that. That was a definite no-no. That was a, yeah. But now you, just so my mind is clear, uh -huh. you've got these in a pen then? Yes, we and have. And you bought a, one of those coop things? Yeah, we all on. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, we have a pen that goes all around. It's behind our garage, so we have a fence all the way around the garage, and then we have a coop inside, and we got our garden in there. That's where we grow gooseberries and raspberries. And how, how long have you had these chickens, you mind my asking? Uh, just one year. Just one year? Yeah. So, again. It sounds like you've done a lot of research into... Oh, yeah. How to do this, so I appreciate where's it. 30, where's 304? Uh, it's yeah. just across where the lumber yard is, two houses before uh, before the tracks. 
the big yellow house. The house is before the tracks, so right at the tracks is no, right across from Jim Byers and the one next. Yep, to yeah, we're right next to the Byers. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're right next to yep. Byers. Oh, okay. sure. Yeah. I know where you're at now. I know where you're at now. Yeah, He's sure in your backyard. Mm -hmm. kind of. uh, well, kind of. Yeah, yeah. 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 Quite a bit south of me, but yeah. <laughs> well, these, these, that distance. Well, I, I will say, when I was in school, I, I've lived in this town my whole life, let's just say. And, yeah. Uh, I had a classmate that had probably 30 or 40 chickens <laughs> yeah. across the road from where she lives. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's not unheard of, and he had a coop and that, and yeah. and that's a, he heck, he sold it. That's why we were in high school. Yeah, and that but, was one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's something that I would make a motion to table and have Derek look into and bring us the current rules right. and regulations. We need to see boards. where we're at and then mm -hmm. see if there's any changes that anybody and wants to make. But do you have? Is it only two hens? We just have two hens right now. We have we have four others, but they're small hens. We had bought them. And then we got the ticket. So it's kind of like, oh crap, what do we do with them now? So, so actually, yeah, we'll have hands. six. We'll have six hens total. Okay. Yeah. But no roosters. Nope, no roosters. Okay. Yeah, the other ones are actually inside right now because they're, you know, they're growing. So, you know, but we have two full size hens that we bought last year. So I'll, I'll make a motion to table this and let Derek bring us everything and then we'll have a workshop and try to tear this apart. Okay, we do have a motion and a second to table Mr. Uh, McMillan's request, excuse me, request for the backyard chickens, and uh, we will look into it, sir. Okay. Uh, and Derek will get the legalities of it if you want to come back on the 20th, and we should have some kind of an answer there. Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, any other Thank discussion you. on this? We should have a workshop before that next meeting. We, we could yeah. discuss it right. then before we have the public meeting. So. Yep. Okay. So all in favor of the, all in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Opposed? There you are, sir. Oh, the thank workshop you. might be a little sketchy. Might I've be got a little scared the next meeting. We not I might not be able to just so you're aware, might not be able to etch anything in stone at that next That's meeting because it may have to go back to rule writing and then go through oh, yeah. the whole process yeah. again. But it, it is on our agenda. We will take a look at it, I assure you that. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So at this point in time, he's been just so I can be sure on this, Derek. He's been fined or, or given a ticket. They got a ticket. So he, they can't do anything. They can't write him out another ticket if he just keeps them. I do. They can, Randy, but I would. I I think. I mean, he's come to the council. Right. That's what I'm saying. It looks to me like yeah. he's he's, he's came being proactive. I guess I just don't want to get any more trouble. It's mm -hmm. not up to the council. It's up to the uh, up to the police department. Okay. But we can deal with that as a council. Okay. If that happens, but again, we really just need to see where we're at okay. right now. All right, so that's that's fine. I understand. Yeah, and I understand about the fines. And if I do get fined again, that's you know that's fine. As long as as long as we're you working won't get, on you it, won't get it, fined again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as we're working on it, that's all. I, you know, that's all that matters. So okay, I appreciate it. Um, if you would like to stay again, if you have. Yeah, you can stay and continue or watching see what we do. Or? Like do. Uh, actually, I gotta get home and eat. So, okay. <laughs> all right, I appreciate it. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for coming here. Oh no. <laughs> thank you. Uh, old business attorney. Oh, well, hey, I got a question on the, on the input. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, next door to me. Okay. Uh, when when Hills moved out. They took the fence down and left the posts. I saw that. Okay, so the posts have been there for years. Is there any time limit on, you know, putting up a, a fence or getting rid of the posts? It's trashy, you know. Those, those posts have been there ever since, and it's been years, you know. And they're just really, somebody's trying to clean up the yard. I noticed I know, they are, they, they are they working on that a little bit. Them up for the yard. Well, he, yeah, and I saw around that patio deck. Uh, yeah, yeah. It looks like they if took they, a weed eater. If they go to the back and clean out grass. that, that'd be nice too, but they never touch that. Yeah. It just keeps encroaching okay. on my. That might need to go to Chuck, so that's kind of a structure in a way, doesn't it? Uh, you know, yeah, take the no. posts out, get rid of them. I don't know if there's any legal vibe and yeah. posts in the ground. I mean. I don't either. But we can look into it. We, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all I'm we just, can do. I'm just curious. You know. I, I, again, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> many other sure. things I can complain about, but I just was curious about that. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice they are cleaning up a little bit. Yeah, I don't know who's there now. Yeah. I don't either. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. He was a good girl. I have you next. Speed. Uh, we did get a judgment against the Moras and their property. Uh, the grand total is 17908 plus court costs. That just happened back on June 20th. Um, we're also, we, we may well be the owners of a boat and a couple trailers, um, provided we've got enough information about that. But I'm just letting you know that we did get that judgment. I don't know that we'll ever see much come through with that, but we'll press on and see what happens. Um, at the last meeting, we did accept the bid from B&B, make sure I get the name right, B&B Roofing and Construction. Um, I sent them the notice of award, and then they brought up that the, there's a couple of bonds that they have to get. There's a performance bond and payment bond, and they each have to be at 125% of the bid price and apparently that is I'll say excessive or it's it's quite a bit mm -hmm. and they reached out to Jamie I know he sent the council an email I've talked to Jamie before he even sent the email um, the reason it was 125 percent from the get-go was just that's the forms that we had the last public works project that we did that was a paving project it was not a construction project I simply copied those terms but after Jamie's done a little bit of looking into this, he understands that 125% um, is not necessarily unheard of, but it's not common. And it's more common that we have 100% of the uh, bid price for the performance bond and the, and the sorry, say this right, payment bond. And so I don't see any issue with it. Um, I don't intend to get into a long dissertation about what that may or may not do, but. I think the town is protected, and I seconded Jamie and his request to reduce that to 100%. Uh, percent. And I think again, council's aware of that. But I just I want this approved in an open meeting with a voice vote. Does that have any bearing on? Uh, I'm a, I had a kind of a brief conversation today with. Uh, somebody on this but um that ain't kind of do with the these, we need to start getting some clawback clauses put in some of these contracts for these it things. has one right it does have one yeah. okay good that that's because that's what hurt us there this thing up here has been now they've been making progress good progress but boy it took a long time to get them to make progress and there's no clawback in that contract and, um, i think we put 500 a day in that uh, something yeah so okay, I'm okay with that. Then. I, that's, I wanted to make sure that that didn't have something to do with that somehow intertwined. I, I don't know all these legalities, so. Well, trust Jamie. I mean, to be honest, I can't recall exactly what that may be, but yeah, there, I think there is a per diem in there. But this is honestly nothing about that. It's right. really about okay to say we're packing up tent, going home. We're done, and it's not done. Uh, what do we do? What can we do? Or if a sub comes and says, "Hey, we never got paid." <clears throat> So I think I think we're in decent shape. Assuming if if they would do if assuming if they would leave like you just said and all oh, the price stayed the same for material and we had to pay somebody else to come back in that's probably why it was at 125 percent. That's the risk and and here's the other I mean to, uh, here we go but the risk <laughs> is that you'll never get a contractor to come in and bid that same amount to do the same work especially when it's 30 40 percent completed. So. That's that's your risk. And in fact, it may be a, a bigger bid just to complete the work that's already been done because they're going to say we don't know what's going on here, and we may have to fix other things that are unseen or unknown. But 
Jamie, I think, is relying on the integrity of, of B and B and the fact that the town's dealt with them in years past and never had any issues or problems. They had the bond agency that I talked to, so they've they've really never even paid out a hundred percent of the job because you know, say it's a hundred thousand dollar job, fifty thousand might already complete, so they gotta just finish the other part of it. So they said they never even wrote out a hundred percent of a job, so I mean, I, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm trying to learn and figure out, uh, you know, trying to see what this makes in common sense terms. You know, it says one thing legally, but what's it really mean in the real world? That's what I'm trying to get at. And and that's what I thought that it probably meant. So, I mean, it is what it is, but that is a chance that we, I mean, we're taking a risk as well as anybody else. I mean, I'm okay with 100%. If we were talking about going 75, it might be a different story. So, Derek would like to hear a motion then. And, uh, so we can vote on this, right? We need a motion to change the performance and the, again, make sure I get the correct lingo, payment bond. Payment bond. To 100% as opposed to 125. I make a motion to change the performance bond to, from 125 to 100%. And the payment bond. And the payment bond. I'll second that. We do have a motion and a second to accept the performance and payment bond, changing it from 125% to 100%. Any further discussion on any of this? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Are you there, sir? All right. Um, if you guys remember, we had sent a letter concerning the annexation. I sent that back on June 2. It went to the Dunlaps, the Thayers, and Unique Realty Solutions, LLC. Um, in that letter, I asked that they would direct any communication to Lisa the Clerk Treasurer's office. And I don't know where that's at, but it's been 30 days. I haven't heard from one Dunlap. He said absolutely not. The other guy, I gotta call him back tomorrow. But he was the way he talked out here. He was okay with that. I don't know exactly tomorrow. That was that unique reality. Okay. And I haven't heard anything from the other one. Well, I kind of suggest we kind of table that and let me look and see what where we're at with. If there's somebody that is strongly objecting to that, how we negotiate if we can negotiate through that. I was here when Mr. Dunlap came and talked to her, and they, it's a definite storm. So. Okay. He's, he's not against the annexation so much as he's against going through the whole process. He just doesn't. If, if, like, if you eliminate him, yeah. he'd be happy. He would, that, yeah, his complaint's not the whole thing, it's just him. He does. Yeah, he just, he's I'm like, too old in the process. I'm, yeah, he, he says, I've been in it. the county for X amount of years and I'm going to die in the county. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he says, I'm too old to be switching now and he doesn't want to. <laughs> you know? well, doesn't have to deal with the county. I mean, there's no. I know Charlie. I know him well, but okay. there's no. That's, yeah, that's I don't get that. that I don't even agree. Want to go through the process. I'm clear, but I would. Yeah, we'll need to clear more now. Um. All right, we've got a fair amount of unsafe buildings or nuisances uh -huh. to kind of tackle, guys. Um, the first is this Argus Enterprises. This is, again, one that I have a conflict with. Carmen Post has prepared an order. I sent that to the council. Uh, shoot, went back on <coughs> June 22nd. Um, apparently there was no work that had been done. And so the council at the meeting on June 15th said proceed with the order. Here's the order. And again, I sent that to you guys. Um, from Carmen back on June 22nd. So there you go. That's ready for your consideration. I'll make a motion to approve the, uh, I want that worded, Derek, uh, letter of. What's well, an order from the executive uh -huh. or enforcement authority, I should make say. Make a motion to approve the order from the uh, authority for zoning, I guess. Which property is this one? This is 413 Southwest Street, Argus Enterprises. Got it. 
I went by there tonight, guys, and there's still a tremendous amount of pallets and stuff back there along that one building. And it still looks. I went by there on purpose tonight. It, it's bad. So we we have a motion and a second to approve the um, order from the executive department and enforcement authority. Um, any further discussion on this? I'm going to remove myself from this if I can. Uh, just abstain from it because of uh, reasons. So, uh, but with that going, anything else? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Abstain. We need to have that signed, and then I will get that back to Carmen and let her take the next steps with that. So, uh, do I sign that then? Or no sign, or you want me to sign? No, you stay. Um, go ahead. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. There it is. I want to be here for a little bit. Yeah. That's how it is. I can sign it. The only ways all the way. Let's go. Can't you stay under the line? <laughs> Who stays in boxes? And you're a teacher. Not and you're a teacher. You're a teacher. Yeah. Let's right. bring some white out. I like people to <laughs> train big. Let's go. I'll need that back. Need more red egg, more red arrows. I can move on to the next one that we have. We've got about five of these guys, so we're not aiming to take up tons of time. But um, again, the last meeting, uh, we talked about there was a property at Give you the correct address. It's 193 South Michigan Street. Shelley Marciliano owns that. Again, I had a conflict on that. Um, that was an issue where Chuck was here and said that he's going to hand deliver the letter uh, to make sure that she had received that. And so obviously Chuck's not here, so I don't know where we're at with that. Um, we may have to table that to the next meeting. Make a motion to table 193 South Michigan. Second. We have a motion and a second. Table 193, South Michigan. Any further comment? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Next one we have is 110 Logan Street, owned by the Beers. Um, this was a situation where we had an attorney named Andy Perkins from Rochester reach out and said, hey, the Beers were trying to get some quotes and understood that there were problems, but they didn't have anything that was I think the quote that they had was something that was uh, not able to be acted on immediately or very soon. Um, so they were going to keep looking and I responded to Andy after our last meeting and said very good, we'd like to see some kind of an update by the time of our next meeting. I didn't have anything as of this morning. I sent an email to him and said, hey, where are we at? I still don't have anything uh, from Andy, although we did have that initial response. Um, it is possible that we could give a deadline that we say if we don't have some kind of response by the next meeting uh, that we will move forward with the unsafe building ordinance and go about that. And that's an option. That doesn't have to be what you decide to do. But given that there has been some communication, some contact, uh, <coughs> that's a thought. I'll make a motion to... For 110 load into table and request a response from either their attorney or themselves in person by the next council meeting, um, or we will proceed with uh, the order. Second that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to. <laughs> we want to. We're going to table. We're requesting a response from their attorney or themselves in person. By our next meeting, which is <coughs> July the 20th. If not, if we have no response, then we will proceed with an order on that. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Not opposed. Aye. aye. <laughs> and just for the record, that, that property has been a blight for. Oh, I know. 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 I know
Folks, the next one we have is 521 North Michigan. Uh, Janice Mullaney, if you would recall, at the last meeting, uh, she had done some things and she had talked to me. Um, there was siding that had been replaced, uh, new metal roof. There, uh, she was in the process of that, working on the foundation. But she had said, ah, no need for any kind of inspection. The council said, send a letter that if we did not have some kind of inspection before July 5, which was yesterday, um, or basically permission to do that, that we would move forward with that unsafe building ordinance. Um, I did send that letter. It looks like it was signed for on June 27th. I don't know where this one's at either. Um, whether she's not been in contact with me. I don't know whether Chuck's had any contact with her um, or any inspection has taken place or been arranged. So I, I don't know where that's at. I'm going to make a motion to proceed to get the order to inspect. A second that. We have a motion and a second to proceed with the order to inspect Mrs. Mullaney's house on, what's the address? 521 North Michigan. 521 North Michigan Street. Any further comments on that? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Who seconded? Yeah. And last, we have 304 East Plum Street, a Virgin of Vila. And this was a situation that uh, Chuck had had some contact with her, not myself, um, but that they were apparently maybe making some amends, or I think there was also some communication issues, um, but that they intended to work on it, and I'm not sure again where we stand as we're here today, but they did respond to the letter, and I just, I don't know where that's at. I think that is one, if I remember right, that Chuck was going to try to make a Since he was it, already talking to him. Yeah, he, uh, he was going to try to follow up with them. Yep. So with that being said, I will make a motion to table until our July 20th meeting. At that point, I would request input from Mr. DeWitt. If he has any, if not, then we will proceed down to the room. Okay, we have a motion and a second to table again. And the address on that here is? 304 East Plum. Street. 304 East Plum Street Correct. property. Correct. Uh, until we have a chance to talk to... Uh, Chuck to it, and then we will continue. If we don't have anything, we will continue with the order on that one also. Any further discussion? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Lisa, can you make sure that Chuck is at the next meeting? And he plans on being on the second meeting of every month with all the other department heads. So if we you give him a heads up, we yeah, expect to. If we to need him at another meeting, we'll have to request him, but he does plan okay. on the second meeting. We will be looking for input on him on these two yeah. on that meeting. No, I'm probably yeah. I make a motion to accept the attorney report. Okay. We have a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. Any further discussion? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Derek. You're welcome. Yeah. Other old business. Anything else needs to be brought up by anybody? Yes. Where we need budget dates. Yeah, I have texted and emailed and all I get is I'm not going to be here this day, I can't be here that day. I'm I okay. I'm just to state them first dates. We, we need some budget dates. If you don't want to do it till the first week in August, that's fine. That bet's on tight schedule though, doesn't but it? But it puts us, yeah, really tight. If you want to do it. We always do it during the fair week, but apparently Sean decided to go on vacation, so. <laughs> Fire. Actually, I'm on vacation next week, and I won't be back till the 19th. We need three days, is that what it was? It's usually three days, unless you guys want to try doing it differently this year, where the department heads Can you come in fill them the out, and then you guys approve or deny based on the what they filled out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like I could come in. I mean, they always do it, but you know, then you don't go through it. Could do that no problem, but we have a town meeting on the 20th. I make a motion to do it. Well, no, that's our. 
I'm like, no, I'm not going to work that session. We workshop that you. What about the, the I mean, we do need to have a discussion about how much they have. You Fine. Know, or we could do the 21st and 22nd, and if we need to, we can do the morning of the 23rd. Okay. It's Saturday. No, 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 we don't work on Saturdays. No, 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 yeah. You can tell I work in agriculture. <laughs> okay, so Corey can only be here on Wednesday the 20th. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have his... What about, what about, and otherwise, he's on vacation till the 1st of August. What about the 26th, 27th, and 28th? Those are when Corey are yeah. Who's gone. Right? Well, if we do the 19th, the 21st, and the 22nd, we do Corey on the 19th and do everybody else on the 21st and the 22nd. Because the 20th is our town meeting. Okay. Would that be fair? Yes. And I'll just make it a point to get back in town early enough on the 19th to... July 19th, push that thing down. 20th, <laughs> and 21st. Yeah, or 21st and 22nd, right? Correct. The only thing I don't like yeah. about that is I'm going to be gone. I'm not going to have a chance to review the stuff when you send it to That's me before we get there. It's usually the same. Like well, I'm planning on having that. I told Jamie I'd have his to him this week, so he could possibly get it next week. Well, you'll be on vacation next week. so. If you email it to me, I yeah. might be able to, <coughs> before I go to bed, uh, Sleeping in the cabin, looking at the moon over the lake, I might be able to look at one or two of them. And Put yourself to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would like an opportunity to review no, I mean, everybody's I mean, work that before you we get to that meeting. first week in August. What's you know, you can move it to the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the first well, the Monday, Tuesday, and maybe Thursday of the first week in August. Those are your choices. What's our? We usually don't start on Mondays, right? Six or six. Nineteenth, twenty first, and twenty second. Yep, let's keep it. And at six or seven. What time you want to do it? Yeah, we have to be here. It's the nineteenth. Um, it's six. Do you want five thirty? Six. Six thirty, please. How long is it going to last? Well, the, if we do it the way she's talking, it's not going to last. Yeah, long. Erica, what what is good for you? I want to be out of here no later than nine o'clock because yeah. I leave at a quarter after ten to go. No, well, you might be here past nine. It shouldn't be that long. It shouldn't take much more than that. We'll schedule so three nights six and have it done about for years. Six thirty. Cause Sean, we do six thirty. Six thirty works. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. Six thirty. July. Got it. I'll allow it. Let's go. Just remember, y'all voted on this, or you all said yes. Yeah. So I don't have. Right. We know. I'm, I'm writing it down now. Right. So. Oh, I'm in Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help what it was. So it's the 19th, the 21st, the 22nd. I think that's what we agreed on, right? The 19th, 20th, and 22nd. 21st and 22nd. Because the 20th is oh, yeah. 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 the 19th. Oh yeah, yeah. The 19th, 21st, right. 22nd. 6.30, budget meeting. Everybody has that, correct? Yeah. Correct. All right. Continuing, new business. Do we have any new business? No. Nobody has anything new? Nada. I have, I have a question for Jamie, if I, if I may. Just, just a short question. <laughs> when I went to work this morning, of course, we had a couple inches of rain up here where they're working to park. Where the thing goes, there was a lot of, I mean, the standing water was up as high as a curb right there. Do we have a drain there that got plugged possibly, or do we need to put one in there while we're doing it? What are you talking, where that little kick out is? Where the kick out is there, and then that first parking spot that would be a north and south parking spot? Or, no, those are going to well, change, they're going to be the other way. The asphalt's not finished there, so once that happens, it should flow. There's fall all the way around there, so it's probably okay. just sitting in that low spot. I just it was clear up to the top of yeah. the curb this morning. Ooh, maybe I better say something. To... Yeah. So okay. I got one more thing. I, I met with B and B today. Um, we're they're going to start probably next week on these over here. So just be thinking in colors. If there's any colors that you want for roof or for the siding. So I'd like to see the buildings match this building to some extent. This building or that building? This building. Why? It'd be odd. I'm no, thinking the, uh, probably... Because that's a fire territory building. I'm thinking the town building. Well, we're adding to it, though, right now. Yeah. It's all going to be connected, right? That yeah. one will be. The police EMS probably leave white, but if we put a roof on there, think of what color you want. When we do the Kwanzaa building, we could match this building with that. Okay. So 
So what's their first step over there? EMS I know for the admin of the EMS. They're going to be destroying that parking lot while they're in there working? or What's that? Uh, are they going to be in their actual physical working, putting pads in? Or yeah. Or yeah. He told me once they get started, they should have the old pad poured within two weeks. Okay. He said they're, they're going to be moving quick. It's not going to be messing around. I know what you're thinking, but that other project should have been long done by now. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Nothing else? Claims. Lisa, I do have, I have a question on this claim. Those benches for Fulker Park, are those part of the grant thing? or That's a lot of money for benches. We paying for them? No, they got, they got a donation for... A couple, a, a no, lot of money. I think for that one is out of that was one of the remaining from the DNR, wasn't it? Yeah. So we yeah. probably already claimed it. Yeah. We're just paying it now because we've already received the reimbursement, the half of it. Well, you also got somebody donated money for benches too. A for two. Did. Those are the one. Yeah, we've already got put those out. Oh, okay. I got some paperwork from Ed as well too because I was interested in doing that for my own. And uh, so, I, yeah, that is the price that came on the paper he sent me as well from that company, so. Yeah. Yeah, those were just order. I mean, that was. Well, we were waiting on them for a year. Yeah, a year and a half ago. A year, yeah, we ordered them oh, way okay. back. And, okay, I just saw them on there. Yeah. Um, Hawkins, uh, those chemicals we're buying from them, are they for the sewer plant then? Water and sewer. They're, okay. yeah, it's, of it's well, that's chlorine. expensive stuff. Chlorine. Chlorine's expensive. There's a lot of it, though. If you well, saw the gallonages, there's a lot. So. Well, it says here one pound bulk, and it says three thousand four hundred and seventy dollars. Built by the yeah. one pound. And, and, okay. They probably have more pounds than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that it's they bought paying for it by the pound. Yeah, it's kind of like fertilizer billing when you get yeah. it. you got to kind of dissect it. It's going up. Like everything else. So these claims, of course, are, are a larger amount because they're June 10th through July 1st because we had those three weeks and we didn't have a meeting. And the total docket is one million nineteen thousand fifty-eight dollars and a penny. Or no, fifty-eight dollars even. Should have a lottery ticket. No pennies. No pennies. I should only improve the million dollars. You don't have to sign. Time. <laughs> My heart's beating like 3,000 beats a minute. Mm -hmm. Make a motion to approve claims for the docket on 7 6 2022. Claims are from 6 10 2022 to 7 1 2022. In the amount of $1,019,000. Fifty-eight dollars. Second. And if you um, if you look, Sean and I had a discussion earlier about Indiana Earth. Those were two very large claims. Yeah, right. So those we will get all that money back July nineteenth. I talked to Shannon. I sent her over the proof that we paid them, and so she has already submitted it to Okra, and Okra will cut us those checks back. So we're going to get probably almost. Quarter, over you know, a quarter of this back. A quarter that was, of it that was why I called you earlier because yeah. I was choking over that number. So. <laughs> I was like, why are we paying these people when they don't even have the thing done? I know. Me too. They like the money. Okay. okay. I make a motion to adjourn. Oh, wait, oh, come on. Come on. I do this every time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So we have a motion and a second to accept claims uh, from uh, June 10th. To July the first for the amount of one million nineteen thousand dollars and fifty nineteen zero fifty eight and no pennies. We uh, any further comment? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. We have a motion <laughs> and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.